Now, the Africa Agility in partnership with the Lagos State Government and Eco Innovation Center is at changing the narrative in the technology industry and ensure that more women are in technology. At the grand finale of the fourth edition of Girls in Tech Bootcamp 2022, the girls developed various projects on how technology can be used to solve problems and make life easy. Our correspondent Ngozika on HSE reports. According to reports, women make up nearly half of the total workforce in technology. Women across various career fields are seen as being marginalized in the tech sector. Here, the girls are encouraged to break loose and bridge the gender gap between men and women in the tech industry. In a space of three weeks, these young tech girls have been able to work together and develop projects that can solve life issues and make life much easier. We have a user-friendly chat box, which actually makes our web platform the best user-friendly place for you to use. An average Nigerian can use it. It's a system that helps sort out your goods and um, detect the best way to get it delivered. Put your hands together for Connect Tech. Developer manager at Microsoft Cloud, Eduaba Sechunwiki, shares her experience in the tech industry and encourages the girls to continue to do their best. In my external facing role, when I'm getting into conversations, I'm pretty much in a, in a room with a lot of board members of IT, sort of just trying to say, you know, the cloud is the way forward. And then you sort of turn around the room and realize you're the only woman. I didn't see that as a deterrent, right? I saw that as, oh, this is an opportunity to get a lot more women, to do more, to be more. Anugo Paud, the founder of Africa Agility, says in the next 10 years, 5,000 female youth in the tech ecosystem will be trained. Africa Agility wants to launch the women into the tech ecosystem so that they can compete with our male counterparts. So we are launching Girls in Tech Business School and it will be starting next month. And this is not just for the girls that have gone through our programs. We are targeting girls across Africa that have great, amazing business ideas, but they don't have the skills and the competency to be able to launch into the marketplace. Eco Innovation Center, we are big on supporting startups. So the doors always open for them to come back to us with their ideas and we will fund them. We will mentor them and we will provide them space for them to you know, collaborate with all our uh, seasoned entrepreneurs to be able to grow their products and scale their products and get them to uh, commercialization. These young tech girls are super excited about their projects and the impacts so far. I really wish other girls can be in tech too, girls that are interested in tech to be in tech. So mostly in my hostel, I'm also a student leader. So the thing I can do for people is like students in my hostel, they are female. We should like have all this entrepreneurship week. I'm willing to take them UI UX classes. I believe that once I have learned what I need to learn, I will definitely be able to assist others to come up to and to encourage both mothers and young girls to do what they have to do to make it. Despite the rapid growth in Nigeria's technology sector, only very few women have the opportunity to participate as founders of tech businesses. But with a program like this, perhaps the narrative is changing. Ngozika or HSE, Plus TV News. <laughs> Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.